Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A few minutes ago, I made a video uh, about Hungary just um, changing its mind on Sweden overnight and uh, Turkey changing its mind on Sweden and NATO overnight. And I don't understand yet what's going on. I'm about to say it, but I, I'm waiting for more evidence. And then I think it's a little game here that uh, we are the suckers, actually. All of us, the Russians, the Ukrainians, the Romanians, the Americans, the French people are the suckers. But hey, I'm waiting for more uh, information to support that uh, claim. Now, what happened? Uh, maybe you are aware that every time the Western countries uh, provided Ukraine with more sophisticated weapons, better weapons, you know, starting with uh, juveniles, juveniles, and then going to high Mars and then to uh, uh, armored vehicles, tanks, airplanes. Um, I don't know if I said high Mars already, probably I did. And uh, they ended up with Patriot systems, then ended up with long, you know, storm shadow missiles from Great Britain that can go to about 300 or so kilometers. Now, they're going to give them something more, longer range missile, 500 kilometers. France will provide that. And again, what do we have from the Russians? Oh, that's an escalation. Oh, yes, we're going to retaliate. How? You didn't do shit so far. What was your retaliation when they received tanks? What was the retaliation when, you, when they received armored vehicles, Patriot systems, HIMARS, uh, what do you want me to say, uh, as well, airplanes? Did you ret how, what was your retaliation? We're gonna, hard, we're gonna strike them harder. Like what? Or we're gonna destroy their command centers. You've been saying that since March last year. And that's your retaliation? Are you impotent? Or you don't want to do it? Who's giving orders here? Who's in charge here? Now, let me show you this concerning. I mean, as a Russian, you should be very concerned about this. Their response? Oh, oh, that's not good. That's an escalation. We're going we're gonna to answer this. Like what? Uh, deeper, please. So here it is. Ukrainska Pravda. France will provide Ukraine with long-range missiles. I said they will provide... Ukraine with everything, not Ukraine. They will fight in Ukraine, bringing everything. Pretty soon they're going to bring troops right there and say, hey, we need them for, I don't know, uh, peacekeeping mission or something, you know, like euphemism, and they will do it. Today is Tuesday 11th of July 2023. And I was looking, hey, what's going on here? France has decided to transfer missiles that will allow strikes in the deep rear of Russia to Ukraine. Now, it doesn't say here, the, um, the distance, but hey, I got this one right here. Another article from Ukraine from, from Ukraine Form, the same date right here. Friends to hand over long range scalp missiles to Ukraine. And on the bottom here it says this long range weapon can hit targets up to 500 kilometers away. This missiles travel at a speed of over 100 thousand kilometer per hour at an altitude of 30 kilometers my friends now if this is not a a a, a big escalation it's a double right here you see this so this missile was developed in the 90s and it says here other versions were de uh, developed for export with a limit of range of 250 kilometers and under different names remember the uh, storm shadow that goes to about uh, what 300 or 250 kilometers so this goes double. Any concerns? Well, let me see. The distance between Kiev and uh, Moscow in straight line is 758 kilometers. Five, 700, you well, it, say, it, 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 it's lower, it, it's shorter. Okay, well, let's look over this. Let's see where Kiev is. You see where Kiev is? And Moscow is somewhere over there in the right hand, upper right hand corner. So, from here to there are uh, 570, uh, 758 kilometers. But from here, for instance, or from here, I don't think that's 750 kilometers. I think it's less than 500 kilometers. 
you check it out find a little t little town of uh, bethlehem here somewhere and give it from i don't know from their little town let's say it's right here Novgorod Seversky. Try from Nov Novgorod because it should be a little bit away from uh, the border so it doesn't get hit by the uh, Russians and try from there and see how far is Moscow. And uh, any, anybody concerned? Any, is anybody concerned about that? Oh, we're gonna retaliate. We're gonna re the word is respond, not even retaliate. We're gonna respond faster. That's how they're gonna respond. Uh, continue providing this kind of services. I'm reaching a, a conclusion, a very bad conclusion for you and I and for the Ukrainian people, for the Russian people, for the Romanian people, for the Polish people, for the American people, for Can Canadian people. It seems like we, the ones that I mentioned and others like us, we are just fooled. I think we are just fooled. I'm not yet ready to, uh, to give you my conclusion or how I got that conclusion. I will make another video. I, I'm waiting for two more pieces of evidence. Right now, I'm living, I'm living in self-denial. I'm denying what I'm seeing because I don't want to, like a big lie. I don't want to accept it for what I think it is at this point because it's too, it's too strange. Too strange. These guys bring their weapons to the maximum almost. Almost. They need what? Nuclear weapons. That's all they need. They didn't, NATO did not bring nuclear weapons and, you uh, know, overtly military presence over there. That's all they didn't bring. Everything else is there. And the Russians, we go and respond. I'm listening to the response. Those attacks on the infrastructure in October, November, December, January, February, th th that, that is the reaction. And uh, we're going to destroy some command uh, posts in, in Ukraine. Or, um, as response how many they killed oh we killed Zaluzny we killed uh, what's the, the other guys uh, Podoliak no Podoliak uh, um, the intelligence Budanov we killed Budanov really how many generals did they kill about 15 uh, until uh, June or July last year and now they just killed two in three weeks one today and another one what two weeks ago and a colonel assassinated uh, who was a uh, you bought a submarine uh, uh, colonel while he was jogging with a Makarov, pak, 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 six, six bullets, I think. And that's what, what I read. So what's going on? Then the other guy wants to go to, to Moscow, Wagner, to solve things out because these guys are not working and there are some traitors over there. What's going on? This 500 kilometer is potentially no problem to hit Moscow or around. We're going to respond. Okay, I wonder how. You still have about 30 million people over there uh, that you can respond with. You still have weapons that you can respond with. with. And it seems like these guys are not winning. They don't want to win anything. Neither side. Not, it's like a, a matter of will, not a matter of, of decision. That's the better put. It's a matter of decision, I think. It's not, oh, you, we can't. Really? Look at how many uh, troops Russia has to fight you, the West. Do they have 5 million fighting? Potentially, they can get 30. I gave them 5. They have 5? Did they have all the weapons over there? I don't think so. Something, something. So, nevertheless, they, got, they will get this one. The Russians will retaliate. Okay, NATO just, uh, you know, incorporate now Sweden because the Turks and the Hungarians overnight in the 48 hour span decided we have no reservations anymore against Sweden. Uh, we decided. Uh, what happened? Did they check mark everything for you, Turkey? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And the next day, Hungary, we have no more reservations. If, if Turkey has no more reservations, we don't have any. What's going on? Anybody called? Who called? What happened? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. These guys expose themselves. We just have to uh, put our antennas to the right uh, frequency. That is to look into what they're doing and put, you know, uh, connect the dots. They're very clear. We just have to sometimes let things, uh, you know, sell down and then when it's settled down, you clearly see everything. 
but now everything is bombarding you and then they think we're gonna forget we're not gonna forget everything was settled down with time maybe a few weeks maybe a few months and then we're gonna realize ah <laughs> that's why that's why Putin and uh, the Russians are sending only 600,000 uh, fighters over there in Ukraine and not, I don't know, 10 million to get the job done, as they said. Hmm? Uh, that's why they don't do squat when these guys are sending tanks, they're going to send airplanes, they're going to send uh, longer range missile systems, they said pay, send Patriot and other... Maybe that's why. That's why they get their general kill, generals killed, but you don't... Uh, what's going on here? Just questions. And the answer is going to come. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. We're going to respond. Okay, move faster.